hey welcome back to my channel I know it's been a long time but I got back on the horse I actually reached out to my friend this is a collab with her and um, it was exactly what I needed to get myself motivated um, to get this pantry closet clean decluttered and it looks so much better in the end um, so yeah there's a hack for you if you need something done reach out and uh, get an accountability partner because it really helps Today I'm collabing with my friend Mary. I will have her channel linked below in my description box. Mary is a stay-at-home mom of a 13-year-old daughter. She loves doing cooking, organizing, decluttering, and cleaning videos. She does hauls from time to time. She lives in Canada. Her channel started about six months ago, around the same time I started my channel. Um, I hope that you will stop by and say hi in her comments and let her know that you are there watching from my channel. And if you are coming here from Mary's channel, hello, welcome, my name is Lori, and I am so happy that you're here. Um, leave me a comment and say hi. And hey, shout out to my subscribers that have been with me for a while. Um, if you've been around, you know that I started a decluttering series back in October and I plan to have my whole house clutter decluttered by the end of 2021 so I could go into 2022 with a clean slate and then I got sidetracked and I had FOMO with uh, Vlogmas so I started doing that and then I got sick and then I went on vacation and then I just didn't do anything and I've been overwhelmed and so I reached out to Mary and said, hey, let's collaborate. And so that was my motivation that I needed to get back in it and get started again. So I'm going to link above um, my playlist for all the decluttering that I've done up to this point. And um, I plan to keep going until I'm done. I don't have that much left to do on my main floor. So hopefully you'll stay with me and follow along and um, maybe join me and declutter as well. Let me know if you're planning to do that. I would love to have you join me and get your home decluttered as well. So this is actually just part one of my pantry closet. Um, you'll see the close-up of the shelves. They're not nice. They're stained and old and never have had a finish on them. So my plan is to repaint the whole closet and cover the shelves in some kind of pretty contact paper or something um, just so that they look nicer and they're cleaner just because the unfinished wood like stains and you know I can't really wash it off well so that's my plan coming up but I'm not gonna start that until I finish some other projects so since we're on the topic of finish I'll let you know that is my word for 2022 finish you've seen in a lot of my videos we have closets including this pantry closet that doesn't have the baseboard down when we put the floor in and there's just so many unfinished projects so my goal this year is to get all of the unfinished project finished so who else has that problem please let me know in the comments please let me know i'm not alone on this so i just pulled my hall table my little console table from the hall over into this part of the hallway to set my food on as I'm decluttering and I'm just going um, item by item so like I'm going to have a shelf with just pastas and sauces and stuff so I'm starting there so I just went through and took out all of the pasta and stuff that I could find because it wasn't all on the same shelf and it wasn't where it belonged and so I'm just decanting this stuff and putting it in um, containers that I've already had I bought these a while ago and uh, I get them actually at TJ Maxx because they're way cheaper. So if you're looking to get containers like this to organize your pantry, I highly suggest TJ Maxx because they are significantly cheaper than, say, like Bed Bath & Beyond. I always mix those up. Bed Bath & Beyond, Bath & Body Works. I, I can't. I don't know. Anyway, Bed Bath & Beyond. That's where you get these containers. But I get them. TJ Maxx, way cheaper.
Another thing that I'm going to try to work on this year is the visual clutter in my home. I feel like it totally makes a difference in my mindset and like anxiety levels and all of the things. And these containers right here are so helpful in that to get all of the packages out and all the bright colors out and have more very monotone and just simple and um, less visually cluttered space. So I'm also going for that. Let me know if it's the same for you. Does like all of the bright packaging and stuff when you open your pantry closet or cupboard in your kitchen or wherever you store your food, um, do you feel overwhelmed? Because I feel like it's definitely a thing. So now that I have most of my pastas decanted and put into these nice um, containers, I just to the side put a clear bin with what I have left that I don't have a um, container for to decant them. So I can be on the lookout when I go to TJ Maxx to get the size that I need. I need one for rice and lasagna noodles. And then um, I do have a spaghetti box there. And I just didn't put it with the other spaghetti because it's um, angel hair and it's much smaller and it cooks at a different time so I didn't want to put that in there um, and that's not a size of noodle that we use often I pretty much just use that for um, like shrimp scampi so as soon as I use that up um, I probably won't buy a container just for that because it's not something that we have on hand all the time and um, it would be gone usually within a week because I meal prep and it would be used up and not be in there for very long so um, I don't feel like I need a container or just for that but definitely for the lasagna noodles and the rice Here I'm just rearranging the stuff that I have on the shelf of all my baking stuff like flour, sugar, um, monk fruit, sugar, monk sugar, I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyway, um, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just rearranging this stuff and then I'm going to put a couple Lazy Susans up and then I'm going to put all of my sauces and dressings and stuff like that in front of it because we definitely use those more than we use any of our baking stuff and it's just convenient. I also left this little clip in here showing you how I move my equipment around and all that goes into filming these videos and getting all the angles and stuff so I just thought that you might enjoy seeing that and there's my husband over there relaxing it's snowing out today it's a very stormy day um, so he didn't have to work but um, yeah he's relaxing because tomorrow he'll be very busy cleaning up all of that snow so you know I guess he deserves to relax because tomorrow I'm relaxing <laughs> the unfinished wood for our shelves and like the marks and the stains and all of that stuff so that's what I'm going to work on next in this pantry is to get this all painted and then the shelves covered and 
make it so that I can wash them and keep them more clean and more sanitary. Um, but for now, I'm just cleaning everything out and organizing it and um, just getting things back in order so that when I go to do that makeover, it will be so much easier for me. baseboard trim in the closet just like the other closet in this hallway where I keep all my vacuums and stuff like that and man I'm telling you it, we've lived here 15 years it's been like that it's it's ridiculous finish 2022 finish it's gonna happen closet here by getting all these cans into some bins and put away and then you will see the after and it is so much better and just for me it helps to have all the decanted stuff um, at eye level and then all of the stuff still in packaging boxes and cans and stuff down lower where when I open the door I see a calm and you know color free area and then just all the colorful stuff is on the floor or the bottom shelf in this closet so i just want to take this time to thank you for being here um head on over to mary's channel when you're done watching this i'll have it linked below and you're going to see here in a minute there's going to be a card up for you to click on and that's what youtube thinks that you should be watching next so thanks so much for being here and i will see you in the next one bye